Today I am here to share my journey uh, toward building most creative restaurant chain of this country. One of the most creative, I, I should say. So the dream and the journey started with the dream of uh, serving and myself having a good quality cup of coffee. When I came to Chirogong in after a very long pause, I was a coffee guy and I wanted to have very good quality coffee. But in those days, in 2013 in Chirogong, we did not have a proper cafe where you can find good quality coffee, good snacks, reasonable price, good ambience all together. That was the first uh, issue that came up on my mind that I should do this for my own very lovely city, Chattogram. To fulfill my dream, I started my first cafe, a very small one, Barcode Cafe in Nasirabad, and it started serving Americano, cappuccino, and latte for the very first time in the history of Chittagong. And it was loved by people living in Chittagong, and it was a uh, super heat, and it was very hyped, because uh, that was the first cafe of its kind, and first time somebody serving that kind of coffee. And today, now we have over 700 cafe in Chittagong. So, proving that cafe was needed for our city, because we have lots of visitors visiting in Chittagong. And that was the first step, and that was the first cafe we started with member of 10, including me. And today, Barcode Restaurant Group is a member of uh, 1,000 team members working for Barcode. So after achieving my first goal, I started working on food and trying to find the gap in this business. And, and as you all know, this is a very old business. Uh, I mean, one of the oldest business in the, in the mankind, the food business is one of the business that started long, long, many years back. And one of the most uh, segment of food is street food. We all love street food. I'm sure everybody loves street food. We are confused only because the hygienic issues of street food. So this is the Barcode Cafe. This was the uh, first branch that Barcode started. And this is the branch. It was a very, very, very small branch. So after the successful start of Barcode Cafe, we started our second venture. Barguish Town Fusion Cafe, where we started serving street food from around the country and around the globe, I, I should say, because we started serving uh, thin crusted Italian pizza, pasta, and American burger in a very reasonable price, which is convenient for students and everybody. So. Also, we started serving street food like fuchka, dosa, but we made sure we are making it a very, in a very hygienic way. So this is, this is the street food we always experience, but uh, I wanted to start something different, something new, and more hygienic so that everybody can enjoy street food very comfortably. That was the branch that we started, Barguish Town. This was the branch, and it's, it was one of the most popular, it's, it was one of the most popular food for, a restaurant for the street food. Now you can see this, uh, these are our homemade. We are making this with uh, very, very, maintaining with the very hygienic ambience. And you can design your fuchka. And this was the first fuchka platter uh, designed in Chittagong, now popular all over the country. You are serving this in Dhaka and it's a very, very popular uh, fuchka in Dhaka. So, two consecutive successful projects made me very confident and uh, made me do more on this project, on this sector. And then I was trying to find more gap in this sector, food industry. So I found out in 2014-15 we did not have any proper seafood restaurant. So I planned to open a seafood restaurant, which was this, Barcode Seafood at a Glance. This was my post on 21st March 2015. 
so this was the restaurant uh, i worked 3 to 4 months day and night to open this restaurant this was one of the, the i was very passionate about this project because this was the only restaurant uh, we had kid zone and everything it was a complete package for people to enjoy seafood then uh, as you can see it's 21st march the opening ceremony was on 22nd march i went back home at 2 am at night and at 3 am i received a call that uh, the restaurant is in danger and i rushed back and what i experienced was this it was on fire at night the mo next morning it was no more in 3 hours the whole restaurant was under fire and it's gone forever so i was very upset i was very down and i thought i can never come back to this sector again with strength because there were financial issues and also the mental strength i lost all the strength and i thought of maybe i'll never proceed in this sector it's very dangerous and very risky project as well and the other problem that i was going through when i started restaurant business i i've been taunted i've been made fun of a lot of fun of me because my father is a industrialist then i started this business everybody made fun of me and my relatives and people around me my friends they used to say finally you have started selling tea so this kind of joke was also you know hurting me so much and i thought of uh, maybe not continuing this business anymore but you know the online platform has given me so much support and love the people the comment and support many of you are here that supported me during those days motivated me to do more then again i started to start this one it took one and a half year to recover everything and start all over again but by then when i was starting this project again by then we had many seafood restaurants in chittagong then i thought of introducing japanese food and korean thai food in chittagong in a very reasonable price so that people from all range can go and enjoy japanese food so i i rebranded the restaurant i put the name barcode on fire so that people can connect the location and everything so it was the logo barcode on fire it could reflect the incident and people were so emotional and people supported barcode on fire so much we've been doing so well <laughs> this was the restaurant re renovated and it started so we run for 3 to 4 months then again the problem was there the flyover construction was started and the entry of the building was blocked for a long time we could not survive the restaurant and um, i had to stop serving japanese korean and chinese food for people living in chittagong then i had this dream on my mind if i have chance again i'll start all over again and i again started much later uh, rebranded it to omerta and now one of the finest restaurant from barcode restaurant group and i believe one of the finest restaurant in chittagong this is omerta logo and this is the branch that we have started <laughs> so i never stopped trying i never stopped believing in myself and never stopped believing in the people of chittagong and i tried and they supported and here i am today so after that uh, you all know this right so there was another huge gap in chitagong restaurant business as uh, we received many guests from dhaka and other part of the country also from abroad whenever they come to chitagong they always look for most traditional food of chitagong the mezbani food this was the biggest challenge for me to carry forward because mezbani is not very easy to serve in restaurant maintaining all the authentic uh, taste and everything because you cannot miss any small detail when you cook mezbani it has to be proper meat the quality and quantity as well because you cannot cook mezbani in a small quantity 
and the spices that has to be very specific it's not like regular spices that you buy from market the spices the things are very very important and also it has to be wood cook wood fire cooking so there are so many thing that you have to maintain that the ambience of the kitchen the chef team everything is every small detail is very important and you skip one detail and the mezbani wouldn't taste like authentic definitely so i started serving mezbani for the first time in chitagong 7 days a week and now we are the largest chain of mezbani restaurant in bangladesh uh all our branches looks the same this is uh, the mezbani branch this is in dubai we have started our branch in dubai united arab emirates as well so <laughs> foreigner they love mezbani food and i feel so proud that i could take our food to dubai as well so this is the uh, lobby of the restaurant i branded it in bangladeshi theme you can see the flags and everything the color green and red so we put our first step to united arab emirates like 2 years back and we are doing very well in dubai as well so chitagonian people and bangladeshi people living in dubai and also people from other country they really appreciate and they visit very frequently to our restaurant and this is our another iconic uh, restaurant i should say apart from mezbani we have many other traditional food in bangladesh like wedding food and bengali bortha curries those are very popular sometime you don't feel like cooking back at home but you want to try the authentic taste in a restaurant because sometime you have uh, 20 30 numbers of visitors in chitagong you just hop into the restaurant and enjoy absolutely traditional bangladeshi food also the wedding food so we designed the restaurant in a with a village team people living in chitagong they have very busy life they don't see the village life so whenever you visit this place you would see the village uh, touch of village you know okay okay so one of the uh, crucial or complicated situation the this industry restaurant hotels and uh, people people working in restaurant and restaurant owners faced was the pandemic situation i think uh, when the pandemic started barcode restaurant group was in the huge threat because we have those days we used to have 700 people working for us and i have a convention center with a huge overhead expenses also even management everything was stuck and i was really lost because we had a plan not to fire single team member from our company and move forward and we were paying salaries to the convention center event management and the, all the team members of restaurant so it was a huge pressure on me and i was stuck back at home it was lockdown then i started planning to get out of the problem and i planned to turn my convention center into a restaurant hub using all the particles we use in six events so closing down and mohammad convention center and six events turning it to a restaurant hub was the i think best decision for restaurant group our restaurant group and make it survivable so if you all know this place barkot food junction i think uh, Seven, eight hundred people can sit at a time, and that was the escape point. And we could recover a COVID situation, and COVID situation could not, you know, stop us. Rather, we became stronger and bigger during the COVID situation. So, I should tell youngsters: every difficult situation comes with opportunity. You just have to make proper plan. That's it. No. no matter how bad the situation is if you can plan well you will not just escape you will grow even stronger and in barkot restaurant group what we do we don't hire expertise people we hire uh, people with no job employ them train them and put them in the company 
So out of 1,000 people, I think 800 people were jobless. We hired them, we trained them, and gave them job. So it was not only about business, it was not only about profit, it was also about doing something for the society. And as my father was the founder of An Mohammed Group, I could make my life lived happily ever after. But I took the challenge and I believed in myself. And I think here I am today in front of you could show that I could make some change in Chittagong. So you all, if I can do it, you all can do it for sure. That's all from me now. And thank you all very much for patience hearing. Thank you.